It's the Thursday before Christmas, and my favourite part about this time of the year is that I get to watch A Muppet Christmas Carol, which is based on A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, and it's a wondrous tale filled with all sorts of impossibilities. But if we apply science, are they really all that impossible? Hi there, I'm Siam, and welcome to Something Sciency Christmas Edition. For those of you who have somehow avoided the cultural phenomenon that is A Christmas Carol, here's the TLDR. A grumpy old man called Ebenezer Scrooge, who hates Christmas, is mean to all of his employees and says things like, bah humbug, and he's visited by the ghost of his former work partner. This ghost tells him that he will be visited by three other ghosts that will convince him to change his ways or he'll suffer in the afterlife. The ghost of Christmas past shows him all the horrible Christmases he had before that made him hate the holidays. The ghost of Christmas present shows him how his employees, especially Bob Cratchit and his family, are suffering right now because of Scrooge's meanness. And the ghost of Christmas future shows his death and how no one will mourn him because of all of his wrongdoings. So Scrooge changes his ways and becomes nicer to everyone and blah blah blah, happy ending. So the first thing to be addressed is the ghosts. There are plenty of reasons why people see ghosts. For example, carbon monoxide poisoning, which would be likely in the time of gas lights as when Scrooge lived, and can cause coldness and audiovisual hallucinations, classic ghost signals. Another reason could be vibrations. Humans can't hear sounds below 20 hertz, but we can still feel it and it makes us uneasy. Even better if the vibration is at 19 hertz. Not only do you get that uneasy feeling that you can't quite hear, but it's also the frequency the human eye vibrates at, causing hallucinations. But perhaps the most likely, seeing as in the story Scrooge was in bed when visited by these hauntings, is sleep paralysis. When the body enters REM sleep, it disconnects from the body to prevent sleepwalking, but sometimes it takes a moment to reconnect after waking, which causes the body to be paralysed while the brain is awake, and that is scary. So there is a fear reaction, which often leads to hallucination, the human brain is brilliant at filling in patterns. To hear more about this, see my video on religion. So when our brain says, something is here, I'm scared, we're likely to fill in the gaps in our knowledge with people, especially people we know, such as Scrooge's deceased business partner, which is why those who suffer from sleep paralysis often see a figure holding them down rather than accept it's just their body lagging like an old laptop. So it's possible to see ghosts, even if they don't exist. So next is time travel. How does Scrooge and the ghost of Christmas past go back in time? Well, for this one, we can think of it in two ways. Either the ghost of Christmas past is exploring Scrooge's memories, or they're actually time traveling. The memory theory would be an intriguing one if long-term memories were reliable, but there is no way as of yet to retrieve the actual events from memory as we only remember the things as we perceive them. So we're back to time travel. The thing about time is that it's relative. When we see things happening as now, it is actually fractions of a second after the event, due to the distance light has to travel to reach our eyes. This means the stars we see in the sky are actually from the past. Now, if Scrooge and the ghost of Christmas past were to travel away from the Earth faster than the speed of light, then look back on it through a telescope of some sort, they would be able to see the past as if it were happening right now. Scrooge is 60 years old in the book, so let's say he goes back 40 years to when he first meets his fiancée Belle. Light travels at 299,792,458 metres per second. Times that by 40 years, assuming that the time that it takes to travel is instantaneous, and then they would have to travel to a point 379,837,044,300,000 kilometres away from the Earth. Whew! That seems unlikely, but not impossible. Moving on to the ghost of Christmas present, we'll get back to the relativity of time later, and we see Scrooge moving among his peers without being seen or heard. We have options for stealth mode in these modern times, including reflection cloaks and camouflage, but this doesn't explain how they could get through the doors without opening them or making a sound. So my favourite theory as to how the Ghost of Christmas Present showed Ebenezer Scrooge is virtual reality. If you have cameras set up around places you are going to, it's possible to create a virtual environment for a person to explore without them interfering. It's a long shot, but a possibility. 
But the ghost of Christmas present actually appears the night before Christmas, so really they are stepping into the domain of the ghost of Christmas future. And this is where we get back into time relativity. Time is just the perception of distance travelled. For example, a day is the distance of the Earth rotating. Because of this, astronauts who travel in orbit, and therefore a little bit further per day than the people on the ground, gain 38 microseconds. That's 38 millionths of a second every day. So, when they return, they are a fraction of a second younger than they would be had they stayed on Earth. And this is how they are seeing the future. Using this principle, if I were to travel around a black hole for five years, ten will have passed on Earth so that when I return, I will be five years in the future according to my own relative perception of time. Scrooge and the Ghosts of Christmas Future could be once again applying this to time travel, but at the end of the day, Scrooge goes back. So, that doesn't seem likely. And this one, I'm afraid, has stumped me. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this Christmas special. Um, if you like this video, be sure to like it, subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. And if you have any theories that you would like to add about this uh, cultural phenomena, then please leave them in the comments below. But as always, you've come for the science and now stay for the song. This is a really short song, uh, very succinct, and I am no Paul Williams, so it's not as good as a Muppet's Christmas Carol, but I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Ebenezer Scrooge, he was a really nasty chap He took all money off his workers And they weren't all that happy So four ghosts came up with something that might just do the trick And used time relativity and virtual reality To show him that you shouldn't be a Dickens, Charlie Dickens told a story My pulse quickens of the ghostly hauntings down the hall but in the words of Cratchit's son, God blesses everyone, and a very Merry Christmas to you all. Thanks for watching. Bye!